can start. Uh, and um, today we have a talk of uh, Evgeny Karnauch uh, with uh, the title Exit Problems for Co-Pros in Markovian Environment. Please. Yes, thanks. Hello. Uh, my talk is about finding the distribution of different functionals for jump diffusion process uh, with parameters that depend on some Markov chain. So we start with the definition. We will consider a bivariate uh, process Z uh, with the second component J, which is a finite ergodic Markov chain. And uh, the component X is uh, a solution of such equation. That is uh, for a given state of J, if we fix uh, the value of J, the increments of X are the increments of the uh, Brownian motion with drift and a compound Poisson process. Such processes are usually called as jump diffusion processes with regime switching and this is a very special case of the general cases, uh, processes that are called Markov additive process. I will use uh, map for short. Uh, this figure represents uh, a path of X. Uh, in general, we can assume that uh, it has a jump at uh, the changing state moment. For example, here we will have a jump and continue trajectory here. But we don't consider this assumption precisely here. I don't uh, discuss this possibility. So this is a common trajectory of our approach. Uh, Evgeny, uh, excuse me, uh, do you suppose that uh, Poissonian processes are independent or not? Yes, uh, the standard Wiener process uh, uh, will be independent on all uh, these Poisson processes and each uh, this system of processes are independent and independent. Okay. Of mm -hmm. the Thank you. Yes. Uh, the distribution of our process is defined by the moment generating function, by this function, uh, with cumulant given by formula one by this point. So initial parameters of uh, our process are defined by uh, such matrices. A uh, is for drifts, volatility, rate of <coughs> jumps, PDF of jumps, and of course we have a transition rate matrix of our environment. And uh, the framework of fluctuation theory, given this five uh, matrices, we search for an algorithm of finding the distribution of different functionals of X. There are many developed techniques in the fluctuation theory. We just mentioned a few quite general. The potential method for a mark of additive process uh, was developed uh, by Karolik and Cherenkov in 1977. 1977, and based on constructing the so-called scale function. Karoluk and Sinkov call it the uh, resolvent function, but uh, currently the more common uh, name, the scale function. Uh, the definition of the scale function is, uh, does not look uh, difficult. It is uh, inverse uh, Laplace transform of uh, the perturbed cumulant uh, function like this uh, formula, but it is not easy to find uh, this uh, inversion. And uh, this method uh, is constructed uh, for the spectrally negative process uh, without positive jumps. The second one based on well uh, keller wheat martingale was pro promoted by Asmussen in 90. And uh, it is uh, usually used uh, for solving some practical problems in queen and risk theory. And the last one we discuss in more detail, uh, comprehensive uh, development of this method uh, for Markov additive processes 
was carried out by Dmitrovsky's research career initiated in the 70s. Uh, the main idea of this method is to use the Wiener-Hopf factorization for solving an uh, integral differential equation. From a probabilistic point of view, we consider moment generating function of field extrema running supremum, infimum, and corresponding reflections. Uh, reflection at the supremum and at the infimum. The connection uh, of the moment generating function of this given function of uh, uh, is represented uh, by uh, the identity of infinitely divisible factorization. This uh, equalities we call infinitely divisible factorization. Uh, it is a well-known result. Uh, Dmitrosevich uh, proved this uh, result using a mix of analytical and probabilistic approaches. Uh, recently, Klusik and Palmovsky uh, in 2014 uh, reproved uh, this factorization using the probabilistic, just probabilistic approach. Uh, uh, exactly, they use the excursion arguments and uh, a notion of reversed map. Uh, what is the definition here is the general definition of the reverse map. Uh, for simplicity, we can understand uh, the revised map as a Markov additive process with cumulant uh, given by this expression. For a jump diffusion process, uh, which we consider here, uh, the reversion uh, has influence only on the transition rate matrix of J. It is easy to see from the definition of function K. So if we pre-multiply by uh, matrix uh, delta P and by delta P inverse uh, and transpose this expression, uh, since uh, all matrices are diagonal, uh, this uh, transformation will change just only this matrix Q. This is transition rate of our environment. Uh, using uh, this notion, uh, our infinitely divisible factorization will be rewrite it uh, uh, like this expression. And if I introduce uh, some more notation for the opposite process, we will get such a form of the factorization. What is important here, um, we can see that all components of the factorizations uh, are the moment generating function of extrema x plus. Uh, that is supremum of our process. Uh, here we have uh, uh, reversed version of the opposite process, here opposite process and revised version. So if we know algorithm of finding uh, the, uh, the moment generating function of x plus, we can get all these components. Uh, to get uh, this moment generating function, uh, we need some assumptions on uh, jumps. For the scalar case, uh, we know that the tractable, analytical tractable results uh, we can get if positive jumps have a rational characteristic function. We should also mention uh, that a monomorphic case proposed by Kuznetsov and Kupriano in 2010 also admit uh, analytical uh, expression, uh, analytical result, but uh, we concentrate here only on <coughs> rational characteristic function. So uh, using assumptions that our jumps, positive jumps, have rational characteristic function, we can show uh, that uh, the moment generating function of uh, x plus field at rate f also uh, have a rational characteristic function. Uh, this is uh, our main uh, result. Uh, to provide a strict proof, we need some raise, uh, raise technical restrictions. First of all, we need to define uh, in detail what is mean uh, rational characteristic function or other called as uh, characteristic function of ME distribution. So uh, ME distribution is a, another name of uh, distribution with rational characteristic function. And the name is due to uh, the matrix uh, form, exponential matrix form of our density. 
Here we have three parameters, beta, b, and p. And this triple we is uh, called as a representation of ME distribution. ME, we mean matrix exponential for short. In more extended form, uh, it can be represented like uh, this uh, mix of exponents with such powers multiplied by some polynomial of degree, some degree. ME distribution has many representations. Uh, to get a representation um, for the PDF given the Laplace transform, uh, we can use the following express expression or representation for beta, b, and p. That is the inversion uh, process in the case, uh, in this case, is very straightforward. We just need to get the coefficient of the uh, numerator and denominator and uh, put in the into the corresponding places of this matrix. Uh, the ME distributions uh, include M on ordinal exponential distribution, uh, uh, ME distribution of order one, hyper exponential, Erlang distribution. Moreover, any fi phase type uh, distribution is an ME distribution. Uh, the definition of uh, phase type distribution or phase distribution uh, can be written like this. Uh, namely, we can assume that we have a transition Markov chain, a transition Markov chain, uh, not uh, which is correspond to our process, but some general Markov chain. Uh, beta will be initial uh, distribution of our chain minus b uh, is the transition rate matrix of this chain and p uh, represents uh, the rate of exit to absorbing state of this uh, chain so uh, uh, Evgeny, uh, let me ask you uh, 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 are you supposing here that uh, beta is uh, uh, finite uh, uh, we, yes, we yes, 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 yes. Uh, yes. Uh, so uh, our Markov chain is uh, uh, living in the finite set. Yes, yes, we have uh, yes. uh, one, uh, we have uh, state. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, this is the order. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Page distribution, and we uh, extend this. Uh, state space by a absorbent state and mm -hmm. uh, in this case we will have transition markov chain mm -hmm. so, uh, so yes mm -hmm. so uh, for finite uh, interval of the time uh, ch our chain goes to those uh, uh, symmetry state, special state yeah. yes mm -hmm. okay. State or absorbent yeah state. okay <laughs> yes i see mm -hmm. And uh, the distribution we had uh, have a name phase type. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, it is easy to see that uh, hyper exponential distribution uh, is a phase type distribution with uh, such uh, parameter beta, such b, and such p. Uh, uh, we introduce uh, such uh, types of distribution uh, in order to easily calculate the Laplace transform? Uh, okay, as uh, mentioned in uh, monograph of Rasmussen, typically every problem can be solved uh, explicitly for the jumps with exponential distribution. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, then uh, it may admit an algorithmic solution for more general assumption of phase type distribution. That is, if we have some result uh, when jobs uh, have exponential distribution, we can hope that for phase type distribution, we can generalize easily this uh, result. In this case, mm -hmm. we will have uh, analytical tra tractable solution. That, uh, oh, I see. Yes, yes, I see. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, one of the reason is that uh, moment generating function have very uh, useful structure. Mm -hmm. But uh, what we need to stress uh, for pH distribution, there are many results. It is very developed uh, case uh, because of probability interpretation of the parameters. ME mm -hmm. uh, distribution, which includes phase distribution, uh, not so wide uh, investigated. 
uh, one more reason, one, two, uh, one, two, two reasons why it is uh, possibly uh, be interesting in practice. Uh, we have two issues corresponding to pH distribution. The first one, uh, like this, uh, having or given a metric uh, or just even uh, scalar case for the scalar case moment generating function, how to find the representation? Mm -hmm. How to find beta B and P given this moment generating function? How to uh, invert uh, our moment generating function for the pH, uh, pH distribution is not very easy task. Moreover, which is uh, what is in also important, how to find uh, a minimal representation? What is the smallest number of phases? Uh, for the, from the statistical point of view, it is an, an important problem uh, since we mm -hmm. can have an overparameterized model. So we will need to estimate too many parameters uh, for ME distribution. Uh, for example, we can uh, build an example. In such case, we just need only three parameters for beta, for example. But for pH distribution, in case of pH distribution, uh, we will have uh, not fixed number of parameters. Uh, changing some small uh, disturbed parameter, we can increase uh, the order of pH distribution. So pH distribution have uh, very good uh, uh, analytical and probabilistic properties, but uh, have uh, also some issues. So um, I am interested in, in considering some results for ME distribution, which are not uh, exactly pH distribution. Uh, one example, easy example, one uh, when uh, we have uh, uh, ME distribution, but not pH distribution. Here is example of the density. It is not uh, difficult to see. And uh, here poss possible uh, representation uh, of this um, uh, ME distribution. And uh, it thinks, uh, it, it thinks uh, that it is minimal uh, representation. The order can be uh, decreased in this case. So uh, we assume that the positive jumps of our uh, jump diffusion processes uh, are ME distributed. That is the PDF for positive X uh, of the following form. Uh, here we have, uh, this is not just the blocks, but color uh, values. This is uh, a diagonal matrix. In this case, uh, our moment generating function for positive X uh, can be represented as such a product of uh, matrix polynomials with diagonal coefficients. So if we introduce some additional notation for the density of uh, reflection at supremum and for some matrix C plus, uh, then from the result of neutralization, we uh, can use uh, such a representation of the moment generating function of our factorization, where function K uh, can be uh, defined uh, more explicitly since uh, we can find this integral. Here, a chain of equalities which uh, I, I wrote uh, this in more, de in more detail since uh, I need to show how the following technical condition appear. This expression, this expression, I need to be a metric polynomial. So uh, this is our main condition. If this matrix is polynomial, then uh, we can get such a presentation of uh, the moment generating function of X plus uh, and easy to see that it is uh, the moment generating function. Evgeny, uh, can you just uh, quote what, what is uh, polynomial matrix? Uh, okay, PR should have, uh, if we uh, monic, uh, I, I have uh, monic polynomials uh, usually, to discuss uh, the leading coefficient is the uh, identity matrix. Uh, then we have uh, R to this color in some power, for example, B plus uh, R to N B minus one, R B minus one, and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, 
of course, uh, this is uh, looks some technical condition, but uh, it is easy to see that if uh, I have uh, positive jumps that are just ordinarily exponentially distributed, just mm -hmm. exponentially, then all these elements will be scalar, and it is easy to see that it is uh, a polynomial. So uh, at least in the case when jumps are po uh, positive jumps are exponential. Uh, this case we call co-process, uh, not just the diffusion general process, but uh, co-process. In this uh, case, uh, this condition holds. So in this case, uh, I can state that uh, moment generating function at, at plus is ME distributed. Mm -hmm. If we additionally uh, use this uh, condition, it is easy to verify that this condition holds. We can get such an expression and uh, what we need to stress here we just need find matrix p plus uh, mm -hmm. it is not easy task in general of course uh, for scalar case we know that the solution of landeberg equation uh, solves this problem but for the matrix case it does it is not so mm, direct uh, looking for the uh, results uh, for pH case, which well known, there are some, uh, we can use some uh, techniques to find the moment generating function of X plus. So not uh, P plus, but uh, already we get uh, the representation of this moment generating function. Uh, all uh, these uh, techniques are primarily based on the fluid embedding idea. To uh, explain this idea, we can uh, look uh, at this picture here, initial trajectory of our pr uh, process, and here is uh, fluid embedding. What we do, we have continuous part of the process. We leave them as they are without any changing. Then if we have a jump here, jump of such length, we stretch the time on this length and connect uh, obtain part by straight line and uh, another positive jump the corresponding stretch and corresponding connection so uh, it is easy to see that uh, between x and x tilde uh, there exists a one uh, one to one correspondence and uh, many problems which uh, we have here due to positive jumps, we have uh, a meet for the X tilde since we will um, have only negative uh, jumps. Uh, what, 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 what do you mean many problems? Uh, uh, problems which connects with the basic functionals we will, which will be discussed uh, in this uh, report, uh, one sided, two sided boundary functionals and uh, functionals uh, connected with some restricted processes with uh, observing uh, um, uh, boundary and uh, no, may, many functionals can be uh, uh, much easily uh, analyzed uh, if we have spectrally negative process. For example, we can use uh, potential methods proposed by Coralook in this case uh, and represent many results in terms uh, of the resolvent function or scale function. So it is well known technique. It proposed by, I think, Asmussen in 19th, uh, and uh, now it is uh, a standard uh, for investigation such type uh, of problems if we want to get analytical uh, result. Uh, of course, uh, we uh, can use fluid embedding only if we can assume that this segment can be split into some parts, each of one have exponential distribution. In this case, we will have exponential time so uh, uh, our environment will change at exponential moments and the structure of our process will be uh, unchanged. Uh, I mean, if we have here Markov additive processes, uh, we will have here also Markov additive processes. Uh, 
uh, and we can uh, get in some result for modified version back uh, to this using uh, additional uh, modification which correspond to discounting uh, these moments when we add uh, some time signal. So mm -hmm. for an E distribution, I cannot use uh, this uh, idea because uh, uh, for an E distribution, I have no such probability interpretation of this jump. So uh, what we try to do is to use uh, uh, analog of uh, scalar key. So uh, we back uh, to the infinitely divisible factorization and assume that the negative jumps are also an E distribution. Uh, this corresponding uh, notation here we put uh, minus. Then the second component analogically can be represented uh, in similar manner. And uh, uh, introduction a matrix polynomial P, uh, left hand side of our infinitely divisible factorization, we can write uh, like uh, this expression. For the uh, left hand side uh, of our um, factorization, we have a chain of equalities, uh, but uh, uh, using some um, uh, comparison between left hand side and right hand side, we can uh, obtain such a representation of our moment generating function. So uh, to determine matrices P plus and P minus, we can uh, get such uh, algebra problem. Uh, we need uh, to find um, uh, a factorization of matrix polynomial P of some matrix polynomial P in such a form. Uh, the first element of this factorization should be a monic polynomial with negative spectra and uh, this uh, factor must have mm, positive spectra. The monograph of uh, Gob, Herlan, Kaster and Rodman 2009 um, provides us an algorithm in terms of Jordan pairs of P and Rias projectors under some technical restrictions. In uh, the special case, which we consider in more detail exponential case, uh, we can uh, say more exactly uh, what uh, kind of uh, factorization we can get in this situation uh, if we assume that we have negative and positive jumps are exponentially distributed with different uh, uh, mm -hmm. rates in each state. This give us uh, such uh, conditions that the spectra of our polynomial P will have uh, all uh, real distant roots, then uh, matrix P, it is well known from the monograph, uh, will have only linear elementary divisors and we can represent PR like this process. So we just need to control in eigenvalues of Y to get uh, the factorization we need. In this special case, where it is, it seems very special case, we get uh, a strict algorithm what we can do to get uh, the factorization. Excuse me, uh, yes. uh, can, I, uh, can I have such question? Can you go back uh, please yes. uh, on the previous page? Uh, you said that uh, after we have such a product of linear factors, uh, we just need to check uh, the eigenvalues of the matrices. Uh, yes, uh, but uh, uh, is it always possible to find such that they have only positive uh, uh, and, uh, uh, values and uh, uh, another group will have only negative? For the exponential case, uh, yes, um, uh, we have non-direct uh, result because we know for phase distribution, uh, this is possible. 
And uh, okay, uh, here uh, the result. Uh, no, mm -hmm. uh, I, if I know result for pH distribution, not mm -hmm, mm -hmm. distribution, I know that uh, matrix P plus must have positive spectra and P minus negative spectra. But uh, this is what you need. Uh, but uh, when you can uh, when you can prove uh, that uh, such uh, factorization exists. For general ME distribution, of course, mm -hmm. uh, this question is very difficult. So mm -hmm. I, I can solve this problem only for special case when we have jumps are exponentially distributed with different different rates. In mm -hmm. I see, I see. case, uh, the structure of our matrix mm -hmm. and the spectra of P are uh, is as follows. We have only positive and only negative spectra, mm -hmm. and moreover, all elements of spectra are simple. That is, uh, mm -hmm. they have multiplicity one. Okay. In more general case, uh, if we back here, uh, if we state problem uh, like we have a polynomial and we want to get these factors, uh, uh, mm -hmm. the monograph of Gokhar uh, says us that even if I know that uh, positive and negative spectra exist, no, no uh, zero spectra, mm -hmm. I'm not sure that uh, I will have uh, right divisor P plus and left divisor P minus. Possibly mm -hmm. this is uh, not, uh, uh, can be, but uh, we need some additional technical restriction. Uh, uh, we can just in general, at current moment, I can uh, only formulate that using the uh, restrictions from monograph of Gopher, if I verify them, then in such special case, when this uh, factorization is uh, hold, uh, I can use P minus as a matrix for defining uh, moment generating function of uh, reflection from uh, mm -hmm. and from the maximum in current moment i cannot get in more general state mm -hmm. I see. because uh, the um, condition i need to verify when it is possible is uh, difficult to connect with initial parameters of our problem uh, mm -hmm. some some algebra uh, connect uh, with projections of uh, corresponding reflection uh, corresponding um functions uh, i i am I really cannot uh, at this moment to formulate all uh, condition we need uh, they are too technical uh, so in general case i cannot state here i i only uh, use my algorithm for the case when we have uh, all roots uh, simple in this case uh, our spectra must be or positive or negative. We easily split it. Uh, we freely to choose why uh, with any spectra. So we fix y1, y2 with positive region values, uh, y3, y4 with negative region values. Then moment generating function will be easily uh, for x plus will be easily uh, represented by uh, y1 and y2 and corresponding here for y3, y, y4. Uh, inversion process will be very simple since we have ME distribution. It, uh, we have direct uh, formula for that. If we want to get uh, the distribution of x plus t, not tilt at rest s, at uh, exponentially distributed moment, uh, we cannot use uh, analytical results. Uh, we need to use uh, an inversion algorithm. Uh, for example, uh, I can mention the gavar stefford algorithm. It is uh, easy formula for to get an, an approximation of the inversion. Uh, one of the reason why it is uh, interesting for us uh, is uh, the interpretation of s s is a parameter of the exponential distribution s should be more than zero uh, usually inversion formulas uh, use uh, some complex uh, uh, numbers uh, for finding inversion so it is not easy to interpret uh, the corresponding characteristics 
of course, in general, we can uh, use some um, approach to overcome this problem and use error, uh, uh, for example, relation. But uh, Gavas Techfest algorithm give us opportunity uh, don't uh, use some special additional interpretation of X. Uh, okay, of course, we have a payment here because coefficient of our approximation contains factorials and we need a higher uh, accuracy for all intermediate steps. Uh, for my experiments, I need about 100 TPs uh, uh, to get uh, uh, 10 uh, in the power minus eight uh, error from for the inverse, uh, for the inverse. A numerical inversion. So uh, for the co process jump, diffusion process with exponentially distributed jumps in the Markov environment, uh, we can uh, use this algorithm. Uh, I test it in many different uh, cases uh, for different numbers. It, it works, uh, and we give uh, and we get uh, the distribution of x plus uh, theta s and the corresponding reflex. Uh, having the results for the components of the factorization, we can go to, uh, to the problem of one-sided boundary function. Namely, we can consider the first passage time, over level, below level, and the corresponding overshoot, above the level, below the level. Here is a picture, for example, for the positive level, uh, uh, overshoot, and this is the first passage level. Uh, if we have a negative level, for example, here, uh, here will be tau, tau minus uh, x. And uh, since we have a continuous uh, part here, uh, we pass passage uh, this level by creeping. So gamma minus x will be zero in this case. The starting mm -hmm. point uh, for investigation of these functionals is a known uh, result, uh, known result from Mikrosevich uh, monograph uh, for the uh, integral integral transformation of uh, joint distribution of for the first passage moment overshoot undershoot. Uh, and uh, we can uh, here we can uh, see here that uh, we need uh, the distribution of x plus which is easily to get from the inversion of the component of the factorization here and here and uh, we need uh, the values of our uh, function f we know that uh, this is uh, diagonal matrix with uh, some exponent on the diagonal so after substitution and uh, simple algebra, we can get this result for the joint distribution, for the integral uh, transform of the joint distribution for the first passage moment and uh, um, overshoot. What uh, we need to stress here, we get two parts. The first one represents the possibility of achievement level uh, by jump uh, here, but by creeping here by jump. So uh, we can interpret uh, both uh, uh, both uh, elements of this sum uh, with some probabilistic meaning. Here represent uh, possibility of uh, creeping and here by jump. Uh, well, the next step uh, of our corollaries uh, is to get the results for, for two uh, sided boundary functionals. We can consider so called uh, the exit time from an interval and the corresponding overshoot. Here is a picture. Uh, what we get additionally here, uh, we get uh, lower boundary. Uh, here's a case of uh, exit uh, uh, from uh, through, through upper bound. Of course, for example, here we have jump negative and this will be uh, the moment of uh, exit and this will be our overshoot at that moment. Uh, using uh, the approach which we know from the scalar case, uh, we can um, get uh, the, moment uh, the moment generating function of the joint distribution of these two functionals 
And uh, here we uh, also can mention two parts. Uh, this one represents the possibility of achievement uh, this level. And the second part of non-achievement, the negative level. So it is also have interpretation all these parts. Of course, uh, I did not uh, represent here the result we get after substitution, since it is clear that if I substitute the solution of this equation and uh, all this part, uh, it will be complicated to, to represent on one or two pages. But uh, in general, formula have a good uh, structure. Uh, additionally, if we take the so-called temperament to Cherovsky identity, we also can uh, find uh, the density of our process before exit uh, moment. Uh, here we have uh, a density of X plus of the reflection, reflection, and this uh, uh, moment generating function we use for this moment generating function, we can use this expression. So if we uh, find this expression and substitute here, we will have the density of our process. Even for just uh, winner process uh, with drift, uh, the corresponding representation without uh, Markov environment, just uh, Brownian mode USB, uh, the distribution before uh, exit from uh, interval will have a complicated, a bit complicated uh, inverse uh, representation. So I also did not show uh, what the result I get uh, in this case. A computer can substitute and I get the result uh, if I have uh, initial parameters of my process. Having the result uh, for one-sided and two-sided boundary functionals, uh, as I mentioned, I just uh, use uh, generalization of uh, the approach from scalar case. Yes, uh, we know how to uh, move, uh, how to solve this problem for the scalar case, and I use uh, analogical approach for the case with Markov environment. But uh, for the next type of functionals, uh, we have no analog from the scalar case. Uh, it is, uh, it, uh, in this case, we need some, some other uh, approaches. Uh, what we discuss here, the first passage time over level that depend on the current state and the corresponding overshoot. Here is a picture. We assume that uh, our boundary uh, change will possibly changes uh, at uh, changing state moment. So uh, here is a uh, moment when our state, uh, state of our uh, environment changes from one to two. And in this moment, uh, we change the boundary we want to cross. So, so if we have fixed boundary, here will be a moment of achievement this level, the first passage moment. But if uh, we have such picture, this moment will be in this moment, uh, tau plus B will be uh, defined this moment and here will be overshoot. Uh, we consider only the case N equal to since in more uh, number of environment, uh, the picture will be too complicated. Uh, there are too many possibilities in that case. Mm -hmm. And uh, one more assumption, we assume that uh, B1 less than B2 for definiteness. Uh, it's uh, only restrict uh, numbers of labels of our environment. So it is easy to uh, consider the case B2 less than B1. It does not change something special. So in this case, we consider a possible uh, behavior of our process. 
and uh, we use here idea from Jiang and the Pistorius uh, 2008. Uh, they proposed uh, they proposed uh, to consider strong mark of property and uh, restart our process at a moment of achievement level. That is, uh, we use one-sided boundary functionals uh, results we uh, represented above and uh, at the moment of exit from an interrupt also we discuss uh, this uh, results above uh, this is the case is when we start from uh, environment uh, when jt is equal one and here jt equals uh, black line correspond to the first uh, state and blue line represent the second state and uh, this is uh, possibilities when uh, b1 when our uh, boundary more than zero of course uh, in this restriction b1 and b2 are all possible uh, positive in the case uh, when b1 less than zero and b2 more than zero we have less uh, uh, variant uh, and the most complicated variant which uh, um, influence the problem when n more than two we need uh, uh, to know the density of our process uh, at the moment when our environment change the state so uh, it will be the main uh, complex uh, element of our results and one of the um, point when we don't know how to do if uh, n uh, more than two if we want to get some analytical exact analytical expression in this case uh, this will be very complex but if n equal two this don't uh, give us a special problem so we can get uh, uh analytical uh, results uh, which uh, can be computed uh, and we can get uh, exact values for um, the function of uh, our moment generating function that is uh, the moment generating function of tau plus and gamma plus why it is interesting for us uh, there is such a problem in financial mathematics uh, our uh, functionals have uh, some interpretation in financial mathematics assume that we have a market model B, a so-called bs market model when b is the uh, um, price of uh, the riskless asset and s is the price of a risky asset here is a picture of the trajectory of our price s and here uh, our environment and the moment of achievement this level uh, have some interpretation in financial mathematics correspondingly to optimal strategy corresponding to this uh, s and b process if uh, the expected values at first moment is less than zero then uh, the market arbitrary free and uh, due to jumps and uh, environment changing uh, our market will be incomplete we will have uh, many different uh, many i know uh, i don't know but uh, some uh, possible uh, choices for the equivalent martingale measure uh, one of the possible case is to fix drift of our uh, jump diffusion uh, as uh, this expression in this case uh, our uh, discounted price uh, will be martingale and uh, the model will be risk neutral with respect to initial probability measure in this case, uh, using the results from Pistorius uh, and Jank, uh, the arbitrage free or rational price uh, for a perpetual American put option with uh, fixed uh, strike K can be represented like this expression with optimal boundary B, uh, which is uh, can be which ca uh, can be found from this, uh, this this system of equality. 
uh, what we need to see is here uh, our price will be fully defined in terms of the moment generating functions of uh, functionals we just uh, uh, discussed above uh, uh, in terms of moment generating function of this function so having a moment generating function for t plus and gamma plus i can uh, found uh, uh, this price and uh, here is a picture uh, example when i pick some parameters uh, behavior of uh, our price given uh, initial price uh, initial price uh, e uh, in the power zero and uh, black line represent the behavior we uh, start uh, from environment in state one for example beer mark and jt equal to uh, for example bull mark and this will be the rational price of our offer uh, and here are my references uh, this uh, all what i uh, plan to represent in this slide Okay, thank you very much. Uh, maybe somebody have questions or comments, please. Uh, Yvini, let me ask you uh, to come back to pages with this factorization of polynomial matrix. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you uh, use uh, this factorization in order to define a precise formula for uh, distributions of uh, this uh, first time passage uh, or overshoots and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, if we uh, consider the following situation, uh, suppose that we make the jumps of our Poissonian process smaller and smaller, uh, in in such a way that uh, finally we have continuous process like winner process with drift. Uh, in this case, uh, we can get uh, the uh, parabolic equation for distributions of this uh, of moments of the first heating. And uh, uh, what happened with your representation? Uh, I am asking because of uh, usually uh, when we uh, have uh, some even continuous family of methods, uh, methods uh, it is not clear that uh, the spectrum also continuously depends on the parameter. Uh, so what happened? Uh, can you just uh, get the a limiting distribution, uh, for example, uh, even if you have uh, purely Wiener process in the limit, uh, can you just say something about the convergence of your uh, representations? I'm not sure about uh, conversion, but uh, uh, I know what will happen here. Uh, mm -hmm. The matrix minus R, and this uh, matrix will be P plus R. Mm -hmm. And the uh, matrix uh, Markov additive Brownian motion, it is well uh, defined and well known model. Mm -hmm. And here we need uh, to know just a solution of uh, quadratic uh, polynomial equation. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in that case, uh, I know that uh, the spectra will be split it into parts without any problem and the negative part will define this polynomial and positive part will define negative uh, po positive 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 and negative uh, p minus uh, i'm not sure if uh, you will consider this result for mark of uh, editing as the limit of uh, my results but uh, what we get uh, for this for in this case uh, I, I know because my algorithm is numerical, uh, uh, I'm, I, I cannot uh, say what uh, uh, behavior of uh, uh, yi when, uh, for example, some n equal, uh, mm -hmm. tends to infinity. I don't know what I get. I can get not uh, an analytical result for yi, but some uh, numerical 
procedure. Mm -hmm. Yes, I see. The solution of the matrix polynomial equation, it's, I, I, I consider a matrix polynomial equation this will be a fourth degree polyne uh, equation. And uh, of, uh, if I have n equal to, uh, I will get uh, for this equality eight roots. In mm. the, if uh, they all are distinct, I will have eight roots. I don't know how they behave uh, with uh, initial parameters. I, I don't know even how to formulate how uh, a determinant of PR mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. depends on initial parameters. So uh, I, I'm not sure that uh, this problem is uh, easy to Consider. Yes, actually, it was my question because uh, you see uh, some of your factorizations, uh, and it is uh, natural, are uh, very, uh, very near this potential method of Korolyuk and Shurinko. And uh, actually, when we work with resolvent, uh, we know some uh, instability results uh, when we have parametric family of operators of me or matrices, even matrices, when a resolvent does not uh, <clears throat> have a good behavior or, uh, or some eigenvalues uh, demonstrate uh, not stable behavior. Uh, so so uh, it can be interesting from the uh, point of view uh, to understand uh, how uh, your factorization uh, behaves uh, under um, uh, when passing to the limit, uh, uh, and uh, also maybe some bifurcation can occur. Uh, it also uh, can be interesting uh, because uh, maybe you can uh, produce such an example when uh, you have two different behaviors uh, uh, depending uh, on the behavior of the uh, factorization elements. Uh, I, I'm not uh, understand what mean uh, uh, before, uh, for, 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 for example uh, you have uh, a family P indicated by uh, some epsilon is and uh, this uh, uh, from this epsilon you uh, depends uh, uh, your, your initial uh, initial parameters depend on this epsilon and uh, suppose that we uh, when we epsilon tends to zero we have our jumps uh, smaller and smaller or uh, you just switch environment faster and faster in order to have something homogeneous in the limit. And then uh, you, uh, you can follow the, uh, you can watch this P epsilon and ask uh, uh, will, uh, about the behavior of its real roots. And you see it can happen that uh, distance between some roots uh, go to zero, yes? And then uh, suddenly you will switch uh, to the uh, case when you have, uh, for example, uh, one multiplier in the left part of representation and three multipliers in the uh, right part and so on, yeah? Uh, I think uh, the, this problem was considered in case uh, for um, uh, such situation, even for two side block, the functionals I considered such a case, I consider uh, not a diffusion, jump diffusion, mm -hmm. but uh, I have a drift. Uh, mm -hmm. and some positive and uh, negative jump. Mm -hmm. so I approximate uh, jump diffusion by uh, pulsing process with drift and mm -hmm. consider as n tends to infinity, uh, mm -hmm. this process will tend uh, in Skarahot space to this process. So mm -hmm. I get uh, the result for uh, two the boundary functionals like uh, this limit and uh, car, uh, for example, epsilon of R uh, tends to car R and I know that the corresponding functionals are 
continues in the square root phase. And I know that uh, this moment generating function will um, converge to the corresponding, no, for the, uh, for the process with uh, linear uh, part. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when it is uh, known result, I, I use this technique uh, to get uh, moment generating function as the uh, as the limit of uh, um, this function of for the pre limit or for approximate mm -hmm. uh, approximation approximation proof. So I think uh, this uh, should happen that uh, if I get a moment generating function. In terms of this uh, characteristic uh, as a limit, I will get uh, the corresponding moment generating function, and uh, I know what I get as a as a limit uh, because I know the result for Markov uh, additive process is Brownian motion. Mm -hmm. I, I I know that I get uh, what I need, but um, I know the result for this process. It is uh, for me interesting uh, to go from uh, this uh, process to have a jump. I have mm -hmm. problems when I have jump. When I have just uh, linear process, I will have uh, more easy spectra. Why mm -hmm. uh, more difficult spectra tends to more easy? I'm not sure that it is. Uh, very interesting in this case. I, I know all the results for Markov editing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Table uh, for bifurcation uh, for some uh, epsilon. I don't know what uh, the practical interpretation. Uh, how how I can interpret this result because uh, uh, dependence of our method. Uh, from initial yeah. parameters are difficult to understand since I use eigen uh, value structure. And you know, uh, actual interpretation can be following when you uh, will uh, make your uh, Markov chain, uh, which describe the environment. Suppose that it, uh, it will have more and more states and uh, jumps fast and faster. Uh, one can think about uh, different regimes for uh, your uh, 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 resulting process and uh, actually for distributions uh, of uh, these values as, uh, about, as a phase transition because we will have uh, 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 some homogenization, yes. When we have a uh, big, uh, big space for Markov chain, and uh, uh, suppose that it has, for, for example, uh, as environment distribution, it has uniform distribution, then uh, it is exactly the uh, usual uh, model from the statistical mechanics. Uh, so uh, it, it looks like uh, it can be interesting uh, to see what happens. Possibly, but I know that if uh, I have not finite fixed uh, number of states for my environment, mm -hmm. I will also have matrix um, um, Markov additive process with, for example, uh, J can be a linear process, mm -hmm. not a finite uh, Markov chain, mm -hmm. but to, to um, I, I only know two or three papers where this uh, model considered and it says that it's uh, very difficult to analyze too few results known for such a model when environment have continuous uh, state space it seems very difficult to analyze the model i i, I don't know uh, even who considered it this uh, type of question i i, I know uh, Palmovsky considered it uh, this case when environment we have uh, have uh, continuous state space and possibly a Lucianian uh, mathematician um, Nicholas Rich no from I, I, I not remember moment name but it's only two papers I know where okay. type of process so it's, it's 
it's not easy to analyze the mass of eddy controls if it's with the continuous uh, uh, state, continuous state of the environment. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, thank you uh, uh, for a good explanation. Uh, and uh, next talk will be uh, Georgi Ryabov. Uh, so we will have a letter with announcement. Uh, thank you for today. Bye.